What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to this webinar. My name is Jake Notek. I'm Buddy Rathmel, founder of CEO Shortcut. And we just wanted to take 10 minutes or so here to give you a more thorough, informative presentation about everything that CEO Shortcut has to offer as we look to equip Chrysler and entrepreneurs to launch their own business. The founder of CEO Shortcut, I have the privilege to be mentored by myself. Buddy is just a great guy. He's one of those guys that has read like 1,500 books, and now he just wants to take what he's learned to invest in the rock stars of the next generation. As you can see on the slide here, Buddy's had quite the history of accomplishments with the Stop Slavery program that he launched. Buddy, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I just had a heart to make a difference in human trafficking, so with my students about uh, almost eight years ago now, we started Stop Slavery to combat human trafficking. Started one of the first Christian leadership podcasts, leadercast.com, way back in 2005. And uh, then started a, a discipleship training school here in um, Thailand, among other things, uh, called Cadence Discipleship Ministries. Awesome. And buddy, I know that you've done quite a bit of work with both corporate 500s and missional organizations, just helping employees understand their destiny and calling and how they can use their gifts uh, in the workplace. So would you mind sharing a little bit about that as well? Yeah, I just love helping people to kind of clarify their dreams and kind of uncover those at times if they're not fully aware of those and then just help them make a plan to reach those dreams. So um, this is my family. We were scheduled to take a photo and it was raining. So we just thought, ah, let's just <laughs> take it anyway. Um, so you'll get to know them if you come out here my wife Jen and kids Jack Adrian and Megan awesome beautiful family so buddy uh, one of the first things that I appreciate about him is he just really did a an incredible job of helping me figure out what my dream really was what I felt like I was on this earth to do and so that's a big outcome goal for CEO shortcut is to help people realize what God created them for and how we can start working towards achieving that yeah, it's something I've enjoyed uh, doing for a number of years now, close to 15 years, is, is helping people to achieve their dreams. And so I'm not sure why uh, you're interested in CEO Shortcut. Maybe you uh, want to run a, a seven-figure business like the guy at the top there. Maybe you just want to have more time with your family, like that's important for you at this season of life. Maybe you want to go to Africa or South America or Asia, invest in others, or maybe your dream is to do the four hour work week like Tim Ferriss and sit on the beach. Um, hopefully if that's your dream, we can encourage you to something a little bit more of eternal consequence, but whatever your dream is, we wanna help you get there. Yeah, our objective at CEO Shortcut is to equip 12 people with the discipleship coaching and financial freedom they need to live out their God-given dreams. And I know that a lot of people enjoy a little bit of adventure in life. I know that's important to you, buddy. So why is that something you want to really be sure to incorporate in the program? Well, I think um, for me, it's something that God has used in my life in huge ways. When I was 18, graduated from high school in Germany, and uh, my parents bought me a backpack and one-way ticket to L.A. And uh, it was kind of like my own gap year program. And during that time, I just – you know, just being in different environments, meeting new people, seeing different places, God just used that in my life in a huge way. So um, we're going to be hitting a bunch of different places. Chiang Mai, of course, is where the school is located. Uh, lots of fun things to do here. Lots of mountains and elephants and lions and tigers. No bears. <laughs> um, but just, yeah, a lot of fun things to do just here in Chiang Mai. But we're also going to be hitting Pai, um, a great kind of Rastafarian type of place, but I love to go up there just to kind of get time, uh, prayer retreats, and just connect with God. Um, we're also going to be going to Vientiane, Lao, uh, early in the in the program, um, just a, a beautiful place in Lao. We're going to hit Cambodia, Angkor Wat, um, see the, the different temples down there outside of Siem Reap, and uh, going to be going to Australia, one of my favorite countries, been four times in the last four years, and although I don't think I've ever seen kangaroos, except maybe <laughs> in the uh, 
Sydney Zoo, but beautiful country, lots of fun. We'll hit the beaches around uh, Sydney. And then we're either going to be going to Phuket or Cosumet. If enough of you like to sail, um, one of my favorite things was years ago with my college class, we went on a bear boat cruise in the Bahamas and just a blast. So if enough of you like to sail, um, we'll be doing that around the Phuket Islands, renting a couple catamarans and sailing down there, taking it easy for a few days. Awesome. I might have to just come back and just join you guys on one yeah, of the trips. Do it, man. We'll figure out how to swing that. But uh, I know that you got an action packed schedule. Did you want to kind of walk them through what that's going to look like? Yeah. So, a typical day um, in the morning, you can grab breakfast, um, time with God. Some days, um, some of the guys go out and exercise or ladies um, before the day starts. Uh, and then 8 30 to 11 is going to be um, that first hour will. Um, often be a time of worship, prayer, um, some sort of maybe discipleship, introspective materials that we'll go through. And then the rest of the time till 11, either some sort of discipleship training or business training, depending on who's speaking that week or what topic we're going through. 11 to 1230, you'll start your business building project, whether that's, um, you might probably don't know right now what that business is going to look like, but we'll kind of clarify that in the first three to four weeks for you um, and then that time will be spent focusing on that lunch i know this is one of your favorite things jake built this powerpoint he was always <laughs> putting in there that we have a chef he loves it yes that. it's amazing nye knows how to cook and i was worried coming to thailand i'd be going hungry but i think i've eaten better here than i do in the states yeah so it's nice to stop and have lunch ready um 1 to 4 back to the business building project and then four to five a personal development project. Maybe you're writing a book, you're learning to code, you're um, starting a blog, something that you walk away at the end of your time here with a tangible product. Six o'clock, back to dinner. Oh, and, yeah. And then seven, seven to 10, um, Monday to, through Thursday, we really want this to be like grow time. You're engaged in community. Maybe you're doing one of the many meetups throughout the community, meeting with one of the literally thousands of missionaries this is a missions hub for the western world um, but doing something those four nights a week that's a little bit intentional and then um yeah the weekends a little bit more chill and relaxed yeah sounds like a lot of learning going on there um now let's talk about the topics and the type of things that are going to be covered throughout the eight months sure we're just going to skim over that quickly you guys can read but um, lots of great things uh, that just to help you grow and um, just come to a deep understanding of what it means to have a relationship with the Lord, to walk with the Lord closely, an intimate relationship with God. And then how do we pass that on to others and, and raise up other disciples? So, um, yeah, you know, I love teaching on calling and destiny and um attributes of God how does the gospel actually transform us we'll talk about strengths and weaknesses uh, we'll be doing some evangelism just um, naturally engaging in conversations where we talk about the greatness of our God we'll go through something called the truth project and then we're just going to be you know living in community sharpening one another being strengthened and encouraged and hopefully our, our rough edges kind of worn off a bit Awesome. Sounds like a good time to me. How about as far as the entrepreneurship talks? I know you want to make it uh, an opportunity to learn the actual business skills needed in 2017 that you don't always learn in a college classroom. So what's that portion going to look like? Yeah, really um, actionable things that we're going to be going through. Um, free software tools to help you with lean startup and strategic planning and productivity. We'll go through kind of the, the best of the best in the market right now and um, help you do things like build a website. Even if you're not ever gonna be your web guy, it's just good to, to spend a few hours and figure out how WordPress looks and, and how to show you how you actually can you know, create a website in, in just a few hours. Um, Jake and I, are, we're like the farthest thing from web guys, but we created the CEO shortcut website, just kind of put it together, like the tools are there that anyone can do it. We have uh, access actually to a $7,500 buying a business 
without any of your own money course that some of you guys might be interested in that. Um, talking about value discovery, learning some public speaking, learning some teaching, creating systems, and recruiting your team uh, to kind of help you reach your dream. Yeah, I like that. So even if you didn't necessarily want to start an online business, just to be able to learn enough other skills that wherever you end up, you're going to be able to take a lot of what you've learned and apply it from the course. Yeah, absolutely. And some people, yeah, some of the people coming aren't aren't going to be interested in an online business. Maybe, yeah, there's there's a different dream, but definitely a lot of skills that they'll walk away with. So, Jake, you're living in the BAM house now. Tell us about that and what it's like to live there. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I was kind of expecting to come here and, and rough it a little bit, only to find that I was going to be living in a five-bedroom mansion, <laughs> which is great. Thailand's just kind of so cheap that you can stay pretty uh, nice without spending too much. And so we're able to stay at this place. We got our living room area here and the kitchen table. Um there's the kitchen where Nye does her magic and prepares our meals for us. This is one of the bedrooms. The place actually has the capacity to sleep uh, 24 in beds. And so there's one of the girls' rooms there. And then I, um, <laughs> I appreciate the air conditioning, especially this time of year as it gets a little hotter. And it's just great to have a space that I never really – feel like I need to leave because there's a quiet room, there's you know just plenty of places to get alone and are able to work on whatever you need to work on. I know this year Jake and one of the other guys, Adam, have a uh, hammock outside so that they can really escape if they need a, a place to go. We also have, within riding distance, um, tons of cafes, restaurants, and each person will get, a, get their own bike so they can take off to those places. Yeah, it's also great that the classroom is in the, the house as well. And so oftentimes we can just head straight to class and have to not worry about going anywhere to go sit in and learn. Yeah, and we'll, we also have an office there in the building as well that has sit-down desks, stand-up desks, whatever your pleasure um, can work there. So, And then a lot of the guys often will go out in the afternoon and just work out of a cafe grab a coffee for a buck 30 or whatever it is over here and um, sit in the cafe and work so buddy why don't you tell us about some of your values yeah i think i think it's really important to understand values that obviously you can exist with someone for you know eight months or a year if you have different values but these are some of my values um and hopefully you're in line with those that that you're okay with people living all out for jesus um, putting others first, taking initiative and risk, being open, you know, this desire to learn, grow. Um, and then one of the things I think that's really important is just for everyone to work in their gifts and strengths. And then for me, I love to influence. If I'm not influencing, I don't really want to be in the situation. Um, that does, they don't have to necessarily be your values, but I just want to know like, if you come out um, what you're getting into a little bit. Definitely. And so to kind of summarize some of the important information, yes, that price is correct. It is <laughs> $79.95 for the eight months. And then you're looking at just for total transparency, the visa actually costs about 1000 as well as the airfare. And so not a bad deal to spend uh, eight months of your life over here in Chiang Mai um, looking at a September 11th start date through May 11th and one of my favorite things about Chiang Mai is that I can go get a nice chicken and rice dish or whatever I'm feeling for a dollar. And so the cost of living expenses are quite low, which definitely makes it easier to justify spending time over here. Yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's and it's just a great place. A lot of fun. It's, it's the digital nomad kind of capital of uh, the world as well as the missions hub. So a lot of a lot of. People are here for uh, many different reasons. So if you are a Christian entrepreneur on fire for the Lord and um, would like to apply, go to ceoshortcut.com forward slash academy and look for this button. Click on it and uh, let's get started talking and see if this is a good fit for you. 
Yes, sir. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right.